beating a dead horse. But listen, we're going to go over this real quick. This is just because I can't, I can't spend all day just looking at you. You make me sick. You, you deleted a lot of videos. And unfortunately, there's a lot of them still around. Like this one. This one's just a real gem. This was when you uh, contacted, you know, my grandchildren's moms. And you just. And then you got mad because they blocked you, but your dumb ass didn't even look to see that. The, your that video that you're referring to was um, my first video that I made for the YouTube channel. And it was nothing was said about you because we do not speak of garbage like you around the children ever. We were having a fun day, and I wanted to introduce my family. Look, I had no idea that you would be the one to threaten them and to to cause me to worry about them from you. The worry was about you. They could have been a million other people, and you were the threat. That is a shame. So you, you can keep on playing this stupid game you're playing. This acting that you think you've got down pat. And I'm going to keep on digging in my spare time until I find every shred of truth there is. Do you, you, I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. I know it's hard for you. I know it's hard for you. You are short bus ready. But here we go. We're going to go through this one. Because you, you're getting on my nerves now. And I couldn't even, I had to go, I had to start it after two minutes because you are so disgusting. Children for their own game. Thank you so much for letting me know. No, that didn't happen. I was blocked. They don't want to hear from me. They don't want to know. But the world should know, you know. The main reason I was worried about her children being used that way is because I would hate for those children to face backlash for that, you know, 10 years from now when they're finally able to work, right? Say 10 years from now, those kids finally go to get a job, but these videos explode and the manager's like, yeah, well, you know, we have this video of you when you were six. Let me just ask you something. You think you have that kind of power? You really think that you, your pathetic, lying, ugly ass, has the power to hurt any any children? You don't. You really don't. You really don't. You are so pathetic, Mary. So pathetic. You are really pathetic. You said in, you earlier today, you said, yeah, you had deleted videos, but just the ones of you crying. Well, you don't look like you're crying in this one, do you? And I'm sure I can find a whole lot more. You don't look like you've ever cried in this one. Look at you. You are a disgusting-looking pig. Do you understand? Oh, God, bless your heart. Just bless your ugly heart. Just as hateful as the old generation. So, last night... I sent a message to the mother of the children that Kathy has been using in her videos. Because, here's the thing, I can't have children, right? That's a problem for me. But, if I was able to have children, and I found out that somebody in my family was using those children for nefarious reasons, if I found out somebody was using my children to manipulate people, my children to say these kids are better than you they'll never be in a section eight my children are perfect i would never use children to belittle and degrade the homeless for one those children have done nothing to me you know, this is hard to keep going through this and the way I'm having to do it because I don't know how to do it no other way. You're right. The children have done nothing to you. They don't know who you are. They couldn't pick you out of a lineup. Okay? They don't know you. They will never know you. Do I, Yes, they are better than you. In fact, the entire human world, the entire world is better than you. 
you are beyond, you are so far down. There's no way you'll ever climb back up. Never. You have reached every low there is to low and told every lie there is to lie. You have even, you have even convinced a man to take a woman's life because you didn't want to live with your grandmother. You wanted to mooch off someone else. You were tired of her rules. 2009, Mary, 2009, you had a busy year while you claimed to have been so broken up. You know, we could recap that too, we will. Let me just give you the rundown real fast. You, 2009, you talked him into getting rid of that poor woman. You stayed there five weeks. You didn't climb out no window. You walked out the front door. And you went and got you went and called the police. That same year, let's see, you made a couple of trips up here. One was for in September of that year. We had Randy's wedding. And you were there having a great time. And the sad thing is I didn't know any of this. Why was it such a secret, Mary, if you were so innocent? Why is it I didn't learn about it till a little later? Because I'm gonna tell you, you wouldn't have been at no wedding. You wouldn't have been there because you are not the kind of person that should have been there. Because you were not good enough. That's right. You were not good enough to even look upon my son and his wife or his children. You're not good enough. You are pathetic. And yes, they will be better than you because they have been taught truth to tell the truth. They have been taught to earn what money they get. If they do something, they get paid to do something. They don't get paid to sit around and cry and whine like you do. Like I told you before, your grandmother is no longer here. She is not going to give you anything. And I, I, if they, I tell you, I'm really searching my heart, my soul, my mind, and, and talking to people who are a lot smarter than me. I, on how to just get you, you need to be deplatformed. If you are this mentally incompetent, if you are this criminally insane, then you should never have been placed on YouTube. You are a sad excuse. You are, they need to make a new law that people like you, not only should you not be able to get a gun, but you should not be allowed to get on a social platform and spew what you spew because there is minds out there that won't want to learn and if they see you oh how sad how sad that you're the face of the future look at you i hope you look at you because you are the face of doom gloom ugly and evil you know what i'm not even gonna continue that i'll get it to the very end and then and then i i, I can't i can't deal with you I, I can't because you know what? You're going to take up my time today. My time is valuable, unlike yours. Mine's, mine's a little more than a couple of cans that you're too lazy to go out there and pick up off the sidewalk. Too lazy. You're too busy sitting there doing your little whiny, drippy-eyed, drippy face, evil heart, black, black as coal heart, trying to get something because you want your damn way. You want everybody gone. You want everybody gone so you'll go back to your little patheticness that you call, I don't know what you call, I guess you call it a job. You call it work, don't you? Let me, let's just get on. Let me get all the way, because uh, I can't, I really can't. I got a can of open paint right here and I got a lot, I got a lot to do, dummy. Get off your ass and clean your apartment. Get up and wash your ass. I'm sure it's pretty right by now. Get up and do something, lazy ass. Go earn something. Look at that smug-ass face of yours. And you know what? I don't care if you were just a beautiful child. Your heart has caused you to be the ugliest thing I've ever laid my eyes on. The Mackey family will be known for what they are. Because I will never stop telling people. So have fun with that. And I'm responsible.
receiving messages telling me Kathy was on day wave. I do not care. I will be watching the show only to record it for future uploads so that this world will always know the hatefulness that my aunt truly is. So now let me just say this, Miss Mary. Hatefulness, you have not seen hatefulness yet. Okay. I have not. I have no got idea. hateful It's yet. one of those weird... I'm sorry. Hang on a minute. Now, great areas in... <laughs> you know, for me. They you, don't want... you know, these iPads are pretty crazy. Listen, I, you haven't seen crazy, but you might. You might get to. So... You, you're pushing me there, and I'm about ready to give it to you. I've been trying to hold back because, like I said, I, I tend to lean toward believing and good. I tend to lean for, toward there being a God. Now, I, I you flip-flop so much. You're on the fence. I'm surprised something had poked you in the butt. You need to either roll to the left or roll to the right, but you need to start rolling. I'd rather just go on and believe what I believe. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to be talking to the Lord today to gain that forgiveness before I get lashing out at you. Because I, I don't know, Mary. I don't know what it's going to take. But whatever it is, I'm going to pull it from deep down inside. Because I'm going to tell you something. You know who I am. You know that I don't put up with a lot. And you know, I, you know, Mary, I have been holding back. And I don't know why you would even want to push me. Because I'm going to tell you something. Little girl, I have not slowed down one bit. I am still spicy as I have ever been. And I will not stop. And I will not be quiet. And I can and will take as many trips as I need to. To produce as many things as I can. To sh just, no, not to tell, but to show what a liar you are. And we will be going through your book together. Because it is just so packed full of your storytelling. Your true story that has no truth in it. Man, I'm going to get off here. Twelve minutes is too long to give to you because you and your broke ass can't afford to pay me for my time. Because my time is very valuable. Very I do, I do more in one day than you have done your entire poor, pathetic life. And don't forget, you began to harass me when you talked about my deceased daughter, thinking that you would be the last word heard and, and not even thinking about her sons who are alive. And she lived a life. She had a, she lived a life. Okay, she was known and loved by many. And you think that's okay. But you don't want nobody to mention your brother. But you can't share one memory of him. Not one day can you share about you and him. Where you took him off or did anything with him. No, you were busy running around, sleeping with people, lying to people, getting what you could get. And keeping on. And that year he passed away. You were busy going and dancing at weddings. And just having yourself a good time. You weren't even. You didn't even put on a front. That there was anything going on. The only one that was grief stricken. Was my mother. And believe me that's when I started digging. Because I knew something was not right. So you just bring it on. Okay. Bring it on. You have already brought it on. All I can tell you now is you better hope that I get some little regain, regain some composure and dignity before I lose it all just to shut you up.